Okay, I want to tell you a little bit about this camera. This is the Insta360 X3. Okay, it came in this box. And uh, if you buy it from the website, you'll get this selfie stick. They call it the invisible selfie stick for free as a gift for registering. I don't know if they're still doing that. Um, the prices are all over the place. If you look on eBay, there's they're all over the place. But from the website, this camera right now, as of what, today's March 7th? Maybe the 6th, I don't know. Anyway, it was $3.99. So, I got the selfie stick. I got the 64 gig mini SD card for, I think it was $14. So it came to like a total of $4.14. I'm not even sure if they charged me tax. So I don't know. Anyway, the camera. Okay, what I found out is I was uploading videos to YouTube using my iPad and they were, they were always in 720p and I couldn't figure out why because I was actually shooting at 4K and 5.7K and every time I would download the videos from here to the iPad they would be 720 and I couldn't figure out why. Well, I've noticed that the iPad sometimes does that and it's good if you're gonna email a video to someone because it reduces the size. But when you're doing something like this, you wanna keep the quality where you shot it, let's say at 4K. So, after being frustrated and finding out that uh, some of the features in the app, the Insta360 app on the iPad doesn't have some of the things that the Android phone has. I have an Android phone, a Samsung, and I have the iPad. And so it was missing things like putting text on the video. And I couldn't figure out why. I finally looked up few things on YouTube and discovered that it was the iPad so once I put the uh, the app on the Samsung which is what I'm using right now um, everything works fine I can actually upload and if you're gonna shoot in 5.7 when you upload to YouTube it only uploads up to 4k so what's the purpose um, the large the files are much larger in 5.7 so I might as well just go ahead and film in 4k at the end of this video I'm gonna put two videos in the corners both of them are the same thing but different one is the virtual reality version where you can move the video on your own and the other one is where I manually do some editing and it's great because you can do all the editing you want um, after the fact. It, it shoots in 360, but you can maneuver the view in any, in, in any way you want. I mean, you can zoom in, zoom out, look to the side. Like uh, I was filming, I don't know if you can see this boat. The video is about this boat, okay? RC boat. And I took it to the slow pond nearby and what I did is the first video is 360 where it just sits there on a tripod and the person watching can move the video in any direction will watch the boat move from one side to the other and the second video is me having full control of the editing software which is the Insta360 software. Um, there's also the Insta360 Studio you can put on your computer, but that doesn't do a whole lot. Um, I was hoping it would do more like texting and put some effects in there, and but it does not. So the app does actually more. 
And you can also, if you're going to do just straight video, you can use any software or app like CapCut. Um, I have PowerDirector, CyberLink software that can work, can do that. The only one that you really need for the, excuse me, for the VR, the Virtual Reality 360 is the software um, that comes with this and it's the app. You have to download it and it's, it's free. And so Studio, Studio is free. The only thing you need for Studio is either the serial number or the registration when you registered. Be sure to remember your password and email that you use to register so that when you go and install Studio, you have to have that with you or do a forgot my password thing. But the serial number works. Um, the only other thing you have to buy, purchase, is this 64. 64 gig <clears throat> mini SD card um, comes with a cleaning cloth. Okay, and what else was in here? Oh, that's funny. I didn't even know it had a sticker. I even had a sticker. Hmm, what am I going to use that for? I say to myself. All right, well. I'm gonna go ahead and uh, put up the videos and I can say this about this camera, it's a little frustrating at times. Um, the first four hours after I received this, I sat there and tried to read everything about it. The manual doesn't tell you a whole lot. Um, Basically, it's much like a quick start, you know, how to get it all started. You have to take the battery out in order to put the SD card in. So, this pops out, the battery pops out, and then there's a little slot there for the SD card. Then you put the battery back in, you got to charge it. It comes with a little charging cable that's about, what, two and a half feet. And... Once it's charged, you can go ahead and start taking videos. You can take photos in 360 where you can actually move the, the photo around. It's just a still photo, but you can still move it around. And then um, there's the me mode. They call it the me mode where you use the, the stick. This goes out to, I don't know, three feet maybe. And uh, you hold it in front of you and when you play it back, if you go on my site, you can find that video. It's one of the last three ones I, three, one of the last three I did. Uh, you don't see the stick. That's why they call it the invisible stick. You just walk around wherever you're at and you hold the stick basically like this. And this thing's three feet high. And then uh, you don't see the stick. All you see is yourself walking. Kind of, kind of neat. Um, I did try one of those, so I have one of those videos. I can't put more than two videos, I don't think. Oh, maybe I can. If I can put all three, I'll put all three. Then you can choose. Um, all right. I think I, I think I said it all. Um, any questions, any comments? A lot of people can't keep saying, you know, they can't upload high resolution videos. Yes, you can. Um, just watch what you're doing, watch your settings on your camera. And uh, I've loaded a few of them at, up to 4K. And then, of course, because if it's 360, that 4K is spread through the whole four, uh, 360. So it's not exactly for 4K, but it looks good. It looks pretty good. All right, that's all I got. Um, I'm going to let her go. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe, hit the bell, and again, thank you for watching, and we'll talk to you again soon. Today is March 7th, 2024. All right, and also, just one, one, one last thing. This is about a year old, 
maybe two years old, I don't know. And there's new one, newer cameras out there. So if you're willing to pay more, there's better cameras. But this one works for me. Um, I didn't want to spend any more than $400. And yeah. All right, uh, if I missed anything, I think I got it all. All right, I'm looking around. Okay, this, there's the cable. There's the box. But this thing does a lot. Look at all the videos. Look at all the YouTube videos. You'll see what I mean. All right, thanks for watching. I'm going to shut her down. I think I've wasted enough time. All right.